Hello, this is Eden from Helix VR, once again with a Beat Saber mod video guide. So, we've been having quite a few questions on the previous video. Now, things have actually changed quite quickly. There's actually a new way of installing the mod. You can actually still use the old way as well, that still works. But there's an easier way now for those of you who don't want to do that. So, if we just go to this website here, it's the releases page, I'll link it in the description below. If you go to Beat Saber Mod Installer, at the moment it's 1.4, we click Beat Saber Mod Installer.exe to download it. So it's just downloading now. Let's open that up. So it can't find where my installation is. So I click OK. So we're just going to go find it. I've put it here on the Z drive. Yours may be somewhere else, because this isn't the default location. So it should be in there, let's click OK. Alright, so we've got the Beat Saber Mod Installer program up now. So you've got the song loader here, that's required. We've got the Beat Saber in-game browser. Now this is really useful because it lets you just download music while in-game without even exiting the game. You don't have to go through all the folders and files like before. I believe you can still do that, but this is easier this way. And there's also custom scoreboards mods. Now, there are a lot more mods for Beat Saber, and I'll be going through some of them as well. But for now, let's just click install. So it just uh, downloads the mods, it'll install them for you. Okay, that's done, install complete. So now we're going to go to Beat Saber and open it up. Right here at the bottom, we've got some, oops, a bit shaking there. We've got Beat Saber. So let's click on that. We've got a lot of songs that we can just go through. So let's click here, download. Back to solo. There we go, we've just got a new song. Okay, next up is getting a stable camera. And there are a couple of reasons you might want this. Um, one, I suppose, just for, say, streaming, or for anyone watching as well. You just don't want it to be sort of jerking about everywhere. And two, this helps you set up the custom avatars. So if we just go here to Camera Plus, again in the description, We'll download it. Let's open it up. You can see here you've got the plugins folder. So let's go to where we've installed Beat Saber. Now, if you're not sure how to get here, the easiest way, on Steam at least, is to go to Beat Saber in your library, right click, properties, local files, and browse local files, right there. Now, if you happen to have Beat Saber on Oculus, you can go to, say, this PC, you go to whichever hard drive you've got your Oculus library on, go to Oculus Apps, Software, and then Hyperbolic Magnetism Beat Saber. So, going back to our download. So, what we want to do we want to extract this folder from the deck that we just downloaded into our Beat Saber folder. And we do, well, you won't have to see this because I've already got it installed, but we'll click Replace. So now in the Plugins folder, you should see Camera Plus. Let's get rid of that. Okay, now we've just installed the Camera Plus mod. Uh, you won't see this, but I've got a file here called cameraplus.cfg, the config file. Now, what you have to do now is just run Beat Saber just once. Okay, that'll do. 
and this file will now appear. If you click to open this file, you'll see some settings here. Um, these are about the positioning of the camera. Now there is a way to actually sort of grab the camera in game and reposition it yourself. But uh, I find this is a bit smoother. So I've got some settings here and uh, credit goes to uh, I think it's Oshi from the Beat Saber mod discord. He's the one who suggested these settings. So I'll put these in the description as well. So if you just open up your camera plus file and copy the settings in here and particularly make sure the third person equals true is there because by default it's false. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Beat Saber Discord. Now I've linked it in the description below again. If you go to finished plugins, you can see here well, just how many mods there are. So we'll go to the bottom. Uh, let's just scroll up until we find what we're looking for. So we're looking for the custom avatar, the most recent version of the custom avatar at us. So here we go, custom avatar.zip. Let's just download that quickly. Let's, we open it up. So these two folders and files here, you don't need them at the moment. Let's open this up. So we've got in here two folders, custom avatars and plugins. So let's go back to the Beat Saber folder. And we'll drag them into here. Again, I've already got these, so I'll just click replace. You probably won't see this. So now in plugins, we've got custom avatar.dll and we've got a folder called custom avatars. And it comes with two avatars by default. Okay, so now that we've got the custom avatar mod, we're going to install some new avatars. So if we go back to the Discord here, look at finished avatars. So we've got quite a few here of uh, various types, let's say. So I'm going to go for uh, this one here. So all we need to do here is from our downloads we're just going to put it into the custom avatar folder so that should now be installed so let's open up beat saber quickly okay so you can see i've now got a custom avatar this is one of the default ones so if we click on the beat saber window just make sure it's in focus and on the keyboard hit page up or page down and we've just changed our avatar to the one that we've just loaded in so that's about it for custom avatars okay so now we're going to install the custom sabers mod so we go back to the beat saber mod group discord go to finished plugins and find the most recent version of the custom saber mod. Now I'll link the current one in the description, but by the time you see this video, this may have changed because things do move quite quickly. So it's this one here. And we're going to put it into the plugins folder in the beat saber folder. So that's that there. Now we're going to make a new folder here called custom sabers. And this is where we're going to put our new sabers. 
so to get some new sabers again we'll go back to the discord go to finished sabers and we'll just pick out a couple that's one here let's drag it into custom sabers and let's choose this one here Okay, so now we've got two sabers installed, two custom sabers. So let's start up the game. Okay, so you'll see on the right hand side, there's the saber menu. So I'm just going to go and select a new saber. So I've just selected, um, I've just chosen Saber, hit select and hit back. And make sure that you hit back because there's a problem with the current version at least, that it will stop working if you don't hit back. Okay, and that's about all for this guide at least. You've got a fair few mods here, but there are even more. You can do custom platforms, you can do colour changing sabers, all sorts of stuff. So, as always, if you like what we do, if you'd like to see more like this, please remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the alert button if you really want to, and leave a comment. If you have any issues, any questions, just make sure to post a comment below. Or if you need any support, probably the best place is the Discord group. That's about all this time. Bye.